This is Technomancer with zero point fuel. This is day one of the blender test for the Robert Murray Smith method of creating graphene from graphite. I'll go over this a little bit with you and give you an idea of what we're talking about. This is the graphite I'm using. Now it's a little hard to see, I understand that. This is what's called one flake or uh, plus 50 mesh. Okay, this is about the biggest stuff I can find around here. And uh, Mr. Smith was using uh, minus 325 mesh, which Dixon graphite powders go in line. You can do a search for Dixon graphite. It's in the States. It's in the U.S. I bought five pounds of the one flake. This is plus 50 mesh and they call it one flake and then they have two flake which is a uh, plus 200 mesh and then they have a uh, minus 325 mesh which is uh, number 620 and then number 635 is a negative 200 mesh and then microfine and micro pure. Just to give you an idea, this is microfine mesh here. This is like like you might find at an automotive store. His method uses 25% water and 75% acetone with uh, 40 grams of graphite. And this is the first run. I already put it in a jar so I can let it settle out. And there's significant loss there. It's probably from the vapor, but I did have a few times where the top of this from the pressure popped up and some of it got out so I ended up putting a tube down in here so that the, it would splash in here but not splash out and vent it which means that the acetone smell is definitely present but the blender itself after running for an hour barely warm I mean it's not really chopping anything heavy duty up in there I do have some concerns that the blender itself because it's made of plastic and as you know, if you do any 3D printing, acetone will melt the plastic, uh, certain kinds of plastic. So I'm not really sure. I picked two of these blenders up for 10 bucks at the Goodwill store. But this blender, the base down inside, is made of plastic. So I'm not really sure how long it's going to last or if it's going to affect it. The one in the backpack air, I added an oiler to it. I haven't started using it yet, but I added an oiler so I could oil the bearing through that little hole right there. You can see it. And it has a metal base in it. And I, I'm only looking at blenders that have a glass uh, bowl because obviously if the plastic is affected by the acetone, then a newer blender won't work because it will affect the plastic. I plan on posting a few more videos as this progresses once I've worked out the procedure. And my first note uh, is that we're using 750 milliliters of acetone, 250 milliliters of water, and 40 grams of graphite. The issue I'm having is most of these blenders are, uh, you can see this is marked in milliliters, and one liter, uh, right, which is right here, doesn't leave a lot of room for this to froth so I'm going the next batch I'm reducing I'm keeping the same ratio but I'm reducing the volume of acetone and uh, water to compensate so that the volume here needs to be well below this lid or it's going to froth and it's going to leak around the lid now I've got some ideas on building something that'll do the same thing but because these are cheap and I can use them to work out the procedure, I'm going to do that so that I can, when I design a device to do this, uh, I'll work the bugs out of it. So Mr. Robert Murray Smith has a homogenizer, which, you know, if everybody could afford one of those, that's probably the best thing to use. It's not going to burn up. But I wanted to make a sealed way to do this so you couldn't smell the acetone. Uh, you want to do this in a ventilated area because of that. But if you're going to run a lot of graphene, graphite, and turn it into graphene like I plan on doing, I don't want to deal with that acetone all the time like that. 
So I want to build a something that I can seal, vent the vent the fumes uh, out, and not have to smell the acetone in the work area, even though it's ventilated, because it's not super well ventilated. So I don't know if leaving the the graphite at uh, 40 grams will matter, but the next experiment I'm going to do that. I'll be posting videos on this process as I go along. This is the first run. This was uh, one liter mixed uh, according to his video. It has to settle out. There, there's some other methods that I want to explore for the separation process, but I want to settle this out because I want to see how much graphene was created in this method. So. It, it's going to have to sit for a while. I'll probably run some other experiments and I'll let them all sit while I do something else. Check for new videos and uh, I plan on producing the graphene, cleaning and drying, and showing the whole procedure from start to finish. So for now, this is Technomancer for Zero Point Fuel signing out.